Okay, now let's move to the next part, which is the concept of data communication network. So what is data communication network? Actually, data communication network consists a lot of devices. For example, first, they consist the end device, the computers. And the computers are connected through the switch, the access switch, the uh, general switch, the aggregation switch, and then finally to the internet. And in the internet, there are a lot of routers. And also, we will have the firewalls. So all put them all together, we form this data communication network. And typically for some wireless network transmission, actually we also have this access controller, access point for wireless communication. So the function of this data communication network is to implement data communication. So in this network, actually, there are a lot of different devices. For example, the first device you need to use may be the switches. So what is switch? Switch is a device closest to the end user. This is the end user. The closest device to the end user is switch. Okay, And the switch is used to access uh, for the end user to access the network and to switch data frames. For example, switch the data frame from this computer to the server or to another computer. And the switch actually is a layer two devices. Later on, we will talk about the five layer model in computer networks. Now you only need to know that the switch is a layer two, is a link layer device, that's okay. Router is another very important device in network. Router actually is a layer three device. We call it network layer device. And the router is used to forward a packet from one subnet to another subnet. The router can also find the correct path for a packet. They can find which router is the correct next hub router for certain packet. Okay. Routers are another network device, which is very important. Actually, the routers are used to forward a packet from one subnet to another subnet. The routers will look at the destination address and then select a best path and then transmit the packet to the destination. And the last router will finally transmit the packet to the destination host. Specifically, the routers can do the forwarding. For example, they can maintain the routing table and running some routing protocols. By running these protocols, they can select the correct route and forward the IP packets. Also, the routers can isolate one subnet from another subnet. Firewalls are another very important device. Actually, firewalls are a network security device. And typically, network security devices are used to protect some trust zone from the untrusted zone. For example, protect our campus, you know, uh, campus network from the public internet. Okay. And in detail, the firewalls can provide a lot of different functions. For example, they can provide the access control between networks of different security level. Some level can access, but some other security level they cannot access. Also, firewalls can provide the user identity uh, authentication or remote access. Also, the data encryption, the VPN service, the network address translation, and some other security functions. So firewall actually is very, very important. They can guarantee our uh, security in the network. Finally, there are some wireless devices. Now people not only access the internet through the wired device, but also through wireless network. Uh, a typical wireless network is Wi-Fi, right? Uh, so actually when we access the internet through Wi-Fi, uh, we have two typical 
architecture. The first is the FAT AP architecture, which is uh, usually used at home. So at home, you will have a wireless router. And through this wireless router, you can uh, access the internet through a cable or you can access wirelessly. So if you access wirelessly, actually uh, in the router, there is a FAT AP. Uh, FAT AP means there are a lot of managed uh, functions in the AP. And then this access point can transmit to the Wi-Fi signals. And then uh, the laptop can, or smartphone can connect to this AP through this router and finally connect to the internet. But actually, if it's a big company or our uh, university, then typically they will not use the FAT AP. They will use an uh, access controller to control a lot of different AP access points. And each access point now only can provide signals for the end user, but there is not so many management functions in this uh, access point. So we call this access point the FIT AP. Okay. This scenario uh, usually used in university where we use one AC to manage a lot of different APs.